Hello everyone, JH Plays back with another video, and today we will be playing Batman Arkham Knight, which is which is honestly the most mediocre of the Batman Arkham series, which is arguably some of the best the best the best superhero series ever. It is rivaled by Marvel Spider-Man, but in my opinion is the best series of superhero games to ever exist but this is this is like the meh one because it's just it's just um it's just it has it, it had it had everything it had it had everything, just everything was there for it, and it messed it up. Because, because, because they gave, they gave you so many options, a new suit, a new takedown ability, which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic. The bat, I think I already said it, but the Batmobile, still really like that very clever but its biggest problem it is it's a severe overuse of the Batmobile I mean it should all be it should only be used in like for it should it should only be used like five out of ten times any more than that it's just obnoxious because you spend because once you get the Batmobile and you start and you do all like the training and stuff. Once you get the new suit, you spend the rest of the game in the Batmobile. And I don't mean like all of it, but you spend at least 99.9, .9... actually no, that's a, that's a little, a proper answer of it is that you spend about, you spend about 76% of the game in the Batmobile for missions, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This had this had so much great gra great graphics gameplay. The new suit is really cool, very very powerful. But it's but it slips up in certain places. Firstly, Batman feels way too strong because I did a mission where every enemy was 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 armed with a gun, and I and I mail it and I meleeed them to death. I literally killed seven seven guys with guns using base using fists. Because in the other games like Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum, you were very, very, very strong. But th those games were restrained, you know you weren't allowed to just go in, punch people to death. Because I played some Arkham Origins using PlayStation now. And if I tr if I, I tried to do I tried to have like a fist fight with I tried to have like a fist fight with a guy with a gun one one guy and he absolutely destroyed me I didn't even get a chance to react in this game I took down seven of them and I barely even tried I just spammed square. I didn't even have to counter or evade none. Which is why this game could have done so much. But they failed with the too strong Batman and overuse of the Batmobile. It's really, really disappointing. I haven't tried Arkham Asylum yet. Yeah. But it's but it's honestly better. Which is which is sad since that this is the newest and and should be the best. I mean, it's got it, it has it has a lot of things. It still has a lot of things going for it, but it just needed something better. I mean, look at this. This is a that's really cool, and it can go up to five people, which is a little overpowered. But still, look at this. See? 
I just did all that with no efforts. I, I won, but I would I, I wouldn't be able to just to just to just like two tap everyone. It would it wouldn't be that easy. It would take an abnormal amount. Of, I mean, no, not an abnormal, a very lot, a pretty large amount of work. Cause those games, those games did so much better in portraying what a Batman game needs to be. The perfect Batman game, in my opinion, is Arkham Origins. Cause it had, see, checked it out. I haven't a bit. I've hardly played it, and I already love it. It's such a, it's such a free experience. And honestly, I think that it looks, there's a few things that it had so much less going for and did so much better than this. Because that game doesn't look nearly as good. The technology was, was, was a very small bit behind. So they weren't able to make it look as good as this. Etc. Etc. They had they had such little that they could work with. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, look, this is cool, but if you, but when you have to spend every mission just doing this, even the boss battles in this game revolve with just this. That is the most disappointing thing you could ever hear. Because all of the boss battles should have been... I played the Killer Croc boss battle and it was so much better than this. I mean, they had so much. I don't know why I just uh, won't stop talking about about the Batmobile, but I think, I, I don't think that I'm the only one who's disappointed about the severe misuse of the Batmobile. And I, and I spent most of my time just taunting my enemies by constantly countering them. I tried to do that in Arkham Origins, did not end well. The way of traversal is significantly better than every other game. They did something really dumb because what they because they chose to kill off the Joker. I think it was in Arkham Origins or it was in a past one. Maybe Arkham Asylum, I don't know. But when oh yeah, it whichever game whichever game's final boss battle was the one where where Joker became like the big giant bruise. I think it was poisonous or something and it got killed. They made a really stupid choice because they didn't think they didn't have to just make a plot where there was no vil where there was no Joker. They decided to make it so Joker in fact the Joker Joker put his blood in multiple different people. And and Batman's one of them. So Joker constantly appears to taunt you and honestly just and honestly, just t just say random things. I, f I, I honestly like listening to the Joker nine times out of ten, but they they killed off him. They killed him off. He should be dead. You can't just you can't just char you can't just revive characters like that. They need to stick with the story. Cause I wish that they just hadn't killed off the Joker. Cause I think I think that the Joker is the best bat is the best Batman villain. He is the most unpredictable, surprising, and incredible out of them all. That he you never know what he's gonna do next. He always has a way of getting it of getting the advantage using a sneak use by like sneaking around. It's so it's incredible. Um, so, 
I think that I think that if they that this game would have been the best Batman or this this would have been the by far best Batman Arkham game if they had just done something about the about the overuse of the Batmobile and the Joker being killed off thing and Batman being way too strong. If they made Batman, if they made, if they made like, if they made like a remastered version of this, made Batman weaker, stop with the whole crappy Joker thing, and and just focused on a different villain, and and make and make every boss battle non-Batmobile, every boss. I think I don't know if every boss, 99.999 percent of them. Of all the boss battles are in the Batmobile. They either should have just removed the Batmobile. They they either remove the Batmobile or stop or stop overusing it. I mean honestly this new suit makes I mean all of his counters now do now do actual damage because they don't actually do damage before you get this new suit but now they do a lot of damage literally there is nothing that batman can do that is slight that is even the slightest bit of offensive and dot and not do damage you know, I think I been this is this this game is filled with the most unbalanced crap ever all of the villains are too all of the enemies are far too easy to beat nothing is a challenge when i i want to i wanted to play a game like this so i could be challenged by by i wanted to try and test to see if i can fight like a gigantic like a multitude of enemies and what I got was me being way too strong. No enemies can even can even comprehend Batman's immense power in this. No one's challenge. The most challenging thing in this game is the Batmobile. And still, you still have the advantage the whole way. See, look, I can just taunt them. I can just everlastingly taunt them. They can never do enough. I mean, it's just so easy to mess with them. They don't... What the hell is the point of playing as bat... of fighting these guys if you just destroy them? So let's take a look at this. You're saying that Batman doesn't kill. He just shot a guy in the. He just shot a guy. He literally shot a guy in his waist after continuously beating the crap out of him. I'm pretty sure that he's dead and not unconscious. Because I know that the Batmobile doesn't have like. I mean, I know that the Batmobile doesn't have like some crappy, like. It's like some crappy tranquilizer doors. Especially since he destroyed, like, especially since I've already destroyed about 20 tanks. And no, no natural enemy can survive something that's pretty clear that Batman kills at least 90% of all of his enemies in this game. But besides the boss ones, since that they somehow survive. Hacks. So I think I'm just done talking about this game. I'm going to make a video just after just after I upload this. And it's talking about the new PlayStation Se Plus celebration pack which some which brings some oh my god loot. It's really really incredible. Like it gives an amazing pickaxe glider and um, and whatever the trail's called, I forget its name. I mean, there is one addictive, but before I go, there is one addictive thing. Doing, d wait, actually, I want to see if I can actually do it. 
Oh no, I can't. Oh great, that's another bad thing about the game. You can't like boost off the the tr the helicopter. I wish that I could do like the gra the grapnel boost. I don't know why it's called grapnel. It's grapple. And then do this, because I would be all. I would be in the. I would be so high in the air. Uh, what it does instead is that you can't actually do that. Just one more battle before I go. See? It's that easy. 